Today on GEN, we'll take a look at our upcoming winter sports, check in on our students and staff about the upcoming holidays, and see what some of our academies look like in action. GEN starts now. Good morning, Golden Eagles. I'm Christopher Robinson. And I'm Janessa Baza. In Campus News this week, our very own art teacher, Deborah Ayel, received a Lifetime Achievement Award from the Native American Music Awards. You may not have known Ayel is a celebrated vocalist from Romeo Void, but did you know that she is a Native American? No ma'am, I did not know that. Congratulations to Miss Ayel. Also in Campus News, some of our journalism staff are going to be taking a trip to Washington, D.C. tomorrow for a national journalism convention. And that is right, including you and I. The Real Academy is also off campus on projects, and they have been helping out our community in ways you may not know about. Sadie Cunningham has a story. Here at DHSHS, we have many clubs and academies for the students to participate in. This week, the spotlight is on the Real Academy. The Real Academy utilizes technology to engage in learning opportunities. They also regularly go out to homes around DHS in the Valley to install solar panels. The students learn all about solar installations from bending pipe to wiring the system into the house. Their work also benefits the community by providing free solar panels onto the homeowners. Daniel, a student in the Real Academy, was working on the ground level at the site. What I do enjoy about being in the Real Academy is being able to get some hands-on work and get some experience for things that I actually want to do in my future. Some challenges in the Real Academy are sometimes the work, at times memorizing some of the, the significance of certain circuits or how they work can be a challenge, at least for me, because <laughs> memory is just terrible. Real Academy lead Casey Heiser keeps students busy during the year working on a variety of projects. Besides solar installations, they are also building a battery-powered go-kart. So the electric go-kart is a new project for Real Academy and essentially what students are doing is they're following some really technical manuals and wiring diagrams to actually build the electric go-kart and then when it's finished they'll be able to use it to do some different lab activities to learn about battery capacity and forces and different types of physics concepts. If you're interested in joining or learning more about the Real Academy, talk to Mr. Heiser in room 307. I'm Sadie Cunningham reporting for GEN. Are you interested in an academy here at DHS but not sure if it's right for you? Are you college bound but frustrated with the admission forms? Not sure how to get money for college? Maybe you aren't even sure what you need to get there. If any of these are true, tonight is your night. From 5 to 7 tonight, you can find out about the course offerings here, talk to students who are in the Pathways and Academies, or get information about college. All grade levels, students, and parents are welcome. Did we mention prizes? There will be a raffle for a Thanksgiving ham, gift cards, a GoPro, and more. Come to Parent Night tonight and get some help planning your future. Hi, my name is Kat Dachi. I'm the graduating class of 2020. I participate in basketball, softball, and I run track. After high school, I'm going to be pursuing a career in the U.S. military. I'm going to be a dentist as my occupation. One of, if not the most hardworking students in our school is the USB freshman president, Ariana Flores. We were lucky enough to get an interview with her. Um, something about being president that I don't like is probably, honestly, I have no idea. I, I just don't. Like, I like being present and I like seeing everybody else smile. The most I enjoy is being able to see everybody else's face, like how happy they are. And I like to see and act how, how other freshmen want to see our school progress. Who do you think should be in student spotlight next time? Come to room 612 to tell us who you think should be chosen and why. Splash and draw. In Ms. Earhart's class, the students have made drawings about their names. What inspired me to do the um, word art was that I like to play video games and then I had nothing 
that inspired me, but only uh, video games. So that's what I did for my word hour. All right, uh, I I did that drawing because you know I play a lot of video games, and that uh, reminded me of uh, Fortnite. You know the zombies. You know. Come at lunch or snack time to support your art class community. Thanksgiving is right around the corner and I think everyone is ready for all the family gatherings and traditional food. I went around campus to ask you about your favorite Thanksgiving dishes. Here's what you said. My favorite Thanksgiving dish would be probably mac and cheese and turkey. My favorite Thanksgiving dish is ham. Yeah, you know, I like um, ham, chicken, mashed potatoes cornbread, greens. I love all that you heard, man. It's just whatever they put on my plate, I'm going to eat it. My favorite Thanksgiving dish is turkey. I went to everybody's head about the bird. The bird, bird, bird. The bird's away, no, when the bird, bird, bird. The bird is away, no, when the bird, bird, bird. When the bird is away, no, when the bird, bird, bird. The bird's away, no, when the bird, bird, bird. When the bird is away, no, when the bird, bird. The bird's away, no, when the bird, bird, bird. The bird's away, no, when the bird, bird, bird. When the bird is away, no, when the bird, bird. The bird's away, no, when the don't you know that the bird well. Everybody knows that the bird is away, no, when the bird. I went to everybody's head about the bed. The bed, the the bed, the bed, the the bed, 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 the Welcome back, Golden Eagles. Since our fall sports have officially come to an end, we're going to introduce our upcoming winter sports, which are basketball, soccer, and wrestling. Right now, teams are practicing and gearing up for their competition. Here's a sneak peek at their practices. Uh, I've been playing soccer since I was seven years old, and I've been continued since. Uh, the position I play in soccer is a uh, center back or sweeper, which is basically like defensive. Yeah, it's my first year being captain for varsity. What I enjoy most about soccer is the passion, like scoring goals and like not allowing any goals is just great, and it's a great feeling to win too. We're gonna make CF, of course, because we're we're always a high-performing team, and I believe we could do it. So I play soccer like more than an hour or two a day, and I love it. Uh, what inspired me to do wrestling was they told me that when I was a freshman that if you want to do better at football, I'd join wrestling. So I joined it, and it turns out that I was better, and I enjoyed wrestling more than I did football. Um, my favorite part about wrestling is us doing the cardios and the workouts. Um, my expectations is for me and most of my fellow teammates to go to CIF and to get um, first, second, or third in their league finals. This week on GEN, we're going around asking Golden Eagles what they're grateful for. Thanksgiving is a time to be around people who you are thankful for and express your gratitude for one another. Many people express their gratitude with things like food, presents, and something as simple as a thank you. Let's go see what our Golden Eagles are grateful for. Uh, my family, my friends, food, uh, my grandmother. I'm grateful for my wife being a, a, a third child in the world. This childbirth is very difficult and she put herself through it. I'm grateful for uh, my family and friends. Can it be my dog? Yes. My dog. <laughs> um, I think it would be my dog. I'm grateful for my mom, my family. Where like I'm at right now, 
I've been pushing myself and to like my grades and learning a lot throughout my years. Well, my family because they took care of me. I'm thankful for living. What I'm mostly thankful for is my mother. All my surroundings and like everything, my family and stuff. My, uh, my family being there for me, you know, every day I wake up and God bless me. For my family, I'm grateful for the food we could have. I'm grateful for my house. I'd say my mom because she's almost died maybe twice. I'm thankful for my friends, my family, and really all the people, all the supporters that I have. Thanks to my mentor, Mr. Smith. Shout out to I am grateful for my mom because she loves me and, support me and supports me in every day. If you want a chance to be featured on the next question of the day, look out for the GEN crew during lunch. I'm Michelle Pascal reporting for GEN. Thanksgiving is just around the corner and it kicks off the holiday season with an attitude of gratitude. Years of research has proven that feeling grateful will not only elevate your mood, but it's also a major factor in your everyday happiness level. With this in mind, we gave Desert Hot Springs High School staff a chance to thank someone special. Thanks to all the USB kids for everything they do every day to make our school a little bit special for everyone. Thank you. Hi, I'd like to give a big Golden Eagle shout out to Mr. Siner. He is absolutely amazing. Keep up the good work and thank you for all of your guidance. I would like to thank Mr. Hernandez because we do so much up in that booth and nobody knows what we go through and all the mistakes that are made and yet we still somehow figure it out at the last minute and nobody gives us any props at all. So puppy, this is for you. Thank you to all our aides and paraprofessionals that help with special education. We couldn't do our job without you from the special ed department. Thank you. I want to just give a shout out to my students and actually all DHSHS students and staff who attended the Blaze Pizza fundraiser. I just want to take an opportunity to thank Tony Alvarez for all of his hard work and always being available and as helpful as he can be for this campus and I appreciate it very much. A huge thanks to uh, Mr. Lyles. Thank you so much for always being there for me, for those times where I feel like crying, for those times where I feel alone. You're always there to support me, always there to help me, always there to help everyone around. So I just want to thank you so much for all that you do. All right, I just want to give a big shout out to Ms. Barano for taking over the horrendous task of being the math lead. Thank you to the teachers and staff at Desert Hot Springs High School for being absolutely amazing and an extra special thank you for anyone who is ever in Mrs. Johnson's room. Um, I just want to thank uh, the Ballet for Clorico, Ms. Yuridia Sanchez for coming to the Dia de los Muertos event and doing the dances. Hi, I would like to thank Rosa, Cindy, Ruth, Liz, Giselle, Dulce for always being so helpful. Also for Miss Ear Hart, this is how I remember her name. Um, thank you for the Alegrifos for the altar. Hi, I'm grateful for uh, Officer Clark for keeping us all motivated and pepped up. Go Clark. No matter what your circumstances are, there's always something to be grateful for. With this in mind, we encourage you to thank someone today for being in your life. So, What's your favorite part about Thanksgiving? My favorite part about Thanksgiving would be having my family together for dinner. What about yours? Hmm. I think my favorite part about Thanksgiving is watching football with my family. Next week is Thanksgiving break. We can all use a break. That's for sure. And when we come back, we'll be wrapping up first semester already. We'll be back with another episode of GN on December 13th. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Golden Eagle Network, where you can see this and all of our past episodes. And from all of us at GN, Happy, Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving! And have a safe break, Golden Eagles. I'm Janessa Baza. And I'm Christopher Robinson. And, and we're, we're signing, signing out for GEN. GEN.